Tucson police reports say Susan Barksdale was ready to say what she knows. Homicide detective Josh Cheek reported, quote, Susan said she was done protecting this monster and she wanted to tell the truth about what happened. Susan and Blaine Barksdale knew Frank Bly had a large collection of guns. Police say Susan told them Blaine wanted to steal the guns and sell them. According to police, she said she saw blood on the floor of Bly's house and assumed Blaine pushed Bly down. Bly's car was found with traces of blood in the trunk, but Bly's body was never found. The Barksdales did not come to court for this latest hearing. But while discussing setting a trial date, Prosecutor Chris Ward nodded as Susan Barksdale's attorney mentioned plea negotiations. Even if we set a trial, I, I believe the state would be open to plea negotiations. I don't think that's a firm deadline. So that's fine. It is not clear whether Blaine Barksdale and his lawyer are also considering a change of plea. Before they could be arrested in Bly's death, the Barksdales left Arizona. U.S. Marshals found and arrested them in upstate New York. They were being transferred to Arizona when they overpowered the guards in the transfer van. It was nearly two weeks before marshals found them in northern Arizona and arrested them again. But Susan Barksdale told police Blaine Barksdale might cooperate with investigators. Susan said while they were still held in New York, Blaine told her, quote, she would go free and he would make a deal and give them the body.